Hi everybody, happy Pi Day. Today is March 14th, 314, which means it's Pi Day in America or anywhere where the month comes before the day. Today, I will be talking about Pi Test and Pi Charts with the Pi Test Pi Day Extravaganza. And if you don't know me, for those of you who don't, don't know me, I am Michael Mintz, the creator of Selenium Base a test automation framework that you can find on GitHub. And let's get into some coding. All right then, so to get started, let's go to the terminal where I'm going to run a command with PyTest, PyTest PyCharts.py, which is essentially going to run a Python script that auto-generates PyCharts like that. Let's start off with the lemon meringue pie that we have here, which is three parts meringue cream with three parts lemon filling and one part graham cracker crust. Up next, actually, before we go on to that, we might actually have one of those here in stock. Up next is the blueberry pie, which is one part blueberries for two parts blueberry filling and one part golden brown crust. Up next is the fruit tart pie, which is, which kind of looks like this, which is essentially strawberries, kiwis, apricots, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, custard, and golden crust. After that, we have the apple pie, which is pretty uh, old fashioned. It's got apple crust, apple filling, cinnamon, and whipped cream. And finally, we have the Boston Cream Pie, which is sponge cake, custard, and chocolate. Mmm, is that good? Well, if you hadn't noticed, uh, these scripts that are generating these pies, that's all done with Python. So if I open the piecharts.py file, which I'm running, you'll see all the source code for that. So it's actually really easy to create a pie with Selenium Base. From Selenium Base import base case, then you have the pie charts class that you've created, and inside that test pie charts, where you create a presentation, and you can pick your theme and a transition, and then you can start creating your charts. So to create a simple pie chart, which had the uh, lemon meringue pie on it, we simply ran the method create pie chart, and then we added some data points to basically say how many parts say meringue cream with lemon filling and graham cracker crust. And you can even pick the color of that. And then when you're all set with that, you can do self.add slide and you can name it. And then self.extract chart, which basically uses the generated chart for the pie chart as part of uh, the creation of the pie chart. And that's uh, basically how all these pies are generated. A few lines of Python code generate a lot of lines of JavaScript which get you lots and lots of pies, which is really exciting because Pi Day is such an exciting time. So many pies to eat, so much food, it's good, and we can mix in Python and use that to generate these charts. It's quite exciting. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Selenium Base, you can easily uh, go to GitHub where you'll be able to find the Selenium Base repository and all the instructions that you need for generating charts. And the tool we used here today is called ChartMaker, which you should be able to find a link to from the Selenium Base GitHub page. And then you have all the instructions here that you can use to create charts, such as the pie chart, which is special because today is Pi Day, and today we released Selenium Base 1.58.0, which basically gives you more control over creating pie charts. So if you just wanna run this, uh, these tests that you saw earlier with the pies, that's once again from the uh, chart maker directory. So let's say you've cloned Selenium Base, GitHub, Selenium Base, and then inside the examples folder, and the chart maker folder, just run the command uh, pytest pycharts and it just automatically runs pytest, which is a unit test runner, but it uses Selenium Base in order to generate all the web components for 
building pies and uh, doing web automation, creating pie charts and all that. It's really fun. It's really exciting. And yeah, it's pie day. So definitely uh, have some pie. And the pies that I have here are sponsored by Central Perk, a place where you can find friends. Yes. So yes. Yeah, so yeah, so that's pie charts. That's pie test scripts running to create these pie charts. It's a lot of fun to do. And PyTest is an awesome framework that is very, very popular. A lot of people are using it to write automated test scripts and test things to make sure all their web apps are working properly. So yeah, so that's PyCharts. That's a little PyTest. That's Pies, real Pies and all that. And of course, there's Selenium Base doing everything in the back end to make all that possible. So yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to visit the Selenium Base page on GitHub and you'll be able to have all the instructions you need to get started, write some tests, create some pies, and then uh, you can eat some pies on the side after that. So great, well, thanks for tuning in to the PyTest Pi Day Extravaganza with PyCharts. And I will see you again later. Bye-bye.